Good morning. What a beautiful day. Are you ready for Stronger Sculpting Series? Hashtag one, hashtag five. <laughs> um, so today's workout, um, as you can see, I've got, I've actually got my bench out. Usually I have my laptop on my bench, but chair required um, for a couple of the exercises, okay? Um, so grab a chair, sorry, I should have put it in the um, schedule. Um, grab a chair, and you can also use kettlebells, okay, for some of the exercises, but it's not a problem if you don't have a kettlebell. You can use a weight, okay? So we're going through some high, high tempo exercises and low tempo exercises. Um, so yeah, I know loads of people are aching. I get it, I am too. Do you know where I'm making the most? It's my shoulders and my biceps. When I go like that, oh yeah. Um, and my legs a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. And for those that wanted to know, when it comes down to working muscle groups, um, one really focused lower body session and one really focused lower body session is enough because then the other workouts that you do throughout the week, um, they're concentrating on certain muscle groups um, but not isolating the um, same muscle group over and over again like we did in our upper body and our lower body. Um, so you're still working full body. That's why I've incorporated uh, one specific lower body, one specific upper body, and then the others are full body um, because we're still working everywhere. Um, and you know, as you probably felt from this week, how your shoulders are hurting, my foot on feeling my shoulders, um, and you want to work the muscles so that you're working to hypertrophy. Um, so that's when you're building the muscles, so your muscles are tearing, that's why they hurt um, and they're rebuilding. And this is why protein is really important. Um, Got to get that protein up, especially if we're doing um, these types of exercises. So just be conscious of your diet as well. Um, and you can still build muscle while in a calorie deficit as well. Um, just as long as you get the protein up so your body isn't burning, um, losing muscle rather than losing fat. Okay, that's why the protein is really important. Um, so, and when your muscles are really aching, um, you're probably wondering whether you should carry on through um, if your muscles are aching that, that bad. Um, and lo lo <laughs> This is why I carefully plan the workout, so you're not, um, for instance, um, everyone's shoulders were hurting, biceps, triceps were really hurting from Wednesday's workout, um, which is why yesterday's workout we were working a lot through compound moves, so like the squat to press for instance, so you weren't focusing on solely on that muscle group, so it was kind of like giving it a little bit of a rest because we were working it differently, okay? Um, so just trust me on the process. Right, those that have got kettlebell, um, we're going for kettlebell swings for 20 reps and then we're going for half goblet squats, okay? So don't worry if you don't have a kettlebell, um, you can do this with weights. Um, so I'm just going to talk through the correct kettlebell swing because I think it's really important. It's done incorrectly so many times and even though I talk about it quite a lot in, the kettle, in my kettlebell workouts, um, honestly, I can't say it enough. I did a three-day, full-day course just on kettlebell swings. Um, so it, it does. It is a perfecting form. Okay. So for those that haven't got, we're thrusting the weight up. Okay. Thrusting the weight up for 20 reps. Then we're taking the weight up or the kettlebell up. We're coming down for a deep squat. Look how low I'm going. Up to halfway, back down, and then all the way. Okay. So weight up, so we want to keep our chest up nice and high and deep in that goblet squat. Those that have got kettlebells, 
Um, you can do, the, do this with me, okay, even if you've got a weight. And just hold the weight at the edge of the dumbbell. So if you're using one dumbbell, hold it, hold it at the edge, okay, and swing that weight through. Okay, if you're going for two, then just hold them at the edge, um, the far end of the kettlebell. Now, when it comes to kettlebell swings, because some of you may be wanting to invest in kettlebells, um, what we want to do is it's a hip hinge movement. Okay, it's not an upper body exercise, it's a full body exercise. Cardiovascular, we're working a lot through the core. So you want to tilt from the hips and thrust the weight up. Okay, so the kettlebell hits my bum at the back. Okay, pretty much comes, okay, as you can see, it's coming through. Think thumb to bum. I know that's a really horrible saying, but thumb to bum. Um, because lots of people do this. It's not. And if you're going slowly, you're having to drive your arms up. We don't want that. It's not an arm workout, okay? It's a thrust action. So your basic action is this. <sighs> Look, my leg position, okay? I'm not squatting. It's like I'm deadlifting. I'm hip hinging, okay? Squeezing my glutes at the top, coming up. Do this with me because it's like part of your warm up. And I'm sucking my belly button in as I come up, tucking my tailbone under. And what you want to do is tuck your chin in at the top. If you look up at your kettlebell, this happens, okay? You end up doing this. We don't want that, okay? We want to come up strong, okay? Strong. It's like you're there. Okay, so your chest wants to come low, but not in a squat position, okay? You're just coming low for standard squat. There's loads of different variations of um, kettlebell swings, um, but a standard swing is done incorrectly. I see it all the time over social media, and it really frustrates me. And I think, oh, poor people's backs, because they must be killing doing that. Okay, so just to show you from the side. So do this with me, even if you've got dumbbells. So... <sighs> Squeeze those glutes at the top. Tuck that chin in, soft through the elbows, okay? I'm not locking out my elbows. My arms are coming up because I'm driving, I'm power through my hips, driving those hips forward. My arms are soft, soft through the elbows. My shoulders are soft, I'm relaxed through my shoulders. I'm exhaling at the top of the range. And you want to go at that speed, okay? So, from the front, I'm strong through the core. Okay, you want to be going at the same speed as me as well, kettlebell standard swing. It's quite a fast movement. So, one, two, three, four, okay? So, I will talk through it um, just to remind you of some cues. So, all I want you to think of is hip hinge, Squeeze those glutes, soft through the arms, relax through the upper body. It's that movement, that power that's driving that kettlebell up. If I go slowly, oh, oh, I'm not going to be able to lift. I'm going to have to, it's real heavy arm workout. It's like, ah, that's why in a kettlebell swing, you can lift quite heavy, okay? Because it's the hips that are doing that work, that movement, rather than lifting in an arm raise, okay? You should be relaxed with the upper body. Relax, relax, relax. Don't tense. Tuck that chin in at the top, okay? Right, let's do this. Um, what I might do is just change. So is everyone ready for... Right. Da -da -da. Turn the music up a little bit. So, goblet squats as well. You want to keep your back nice and straight. Toes pointed out slightly. We're coming down nice and deep. Back nice and straight. Coming up to halfway. Back down. Up all the way. Okay? Right, are you ready? Three rounds. Frost those hips. Try and go at the same speed as me. If you're going slower, it means that you're not driving through enough, you haven't got enough power through there, and you're gonna be working your upper body too much. It's a full body workout, really good core. Remember to exhale at the top, okay? Same principle applies with the dumbbells, okay? You won't be able to obviously hit 
your bum at the back, but you can get same movement. Okay, ready? 20 reps. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tuck that chin in. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Soft through those arms. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Up. Squats, nice and slow, no quicker than me. Let's go. Halfway, down, up. One, we're going for ten. Down, halfway, down, up. Squeeze. Two, down, halfway, down. Three. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, four, keep your back nice and straight, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Back to your swings. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chin. Soft with his arms. Ten, eleven, twelve. 13, be conscious of your leg position and squatting. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And if you find this happens, I'll go with the light one. You flick it at the top like that, you're going too light. Okay, for a standard swing you need heavier. Ready? Let's go. One, back nice and straight, two, three, four, concentrate on your back position, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Round number three, straight into swings. Let's go. One, two, three, chin, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Off through those arms. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Up. And by the way, I was meant to say. I'm not lifting that heavy today because I keep needing to go get my heavy kettlebell. If you're lifting quite heavy, in the start of those swings, your starting position should be here, okay? Swing through and up, okay? Um, I'm not lifting heavy, so I don't need to do that. Um, but if you are going for a heavy, heavy kettlebell, you want to start on the floor. Ready? One. Two, because we've got a wide stance, a goblet squat. We're working much more through the adductors, through the inner thighs. We're working through the back because we're upright. We're working through the glutes because we've got a wide stance. But we're also working through the quads and the hamstrings.
nine, ten. Weight down. Next circuit. We're going for calf raises and snatches. So if you're using a kettle a weight, exactly the same principle applies whether you're using a weight or a kettlebell. Okay, you don't go and grab the weight like this. Look at my back. No. Okay, you grab the weight like this. Okay. Chest drops nice and low. Nice and low here. Okay. My palm is facing away from me and I'm snatching the weight up. Okay. It's power through that weight. Power through that lift. Down. Okay. Less pressure on your shoulder. You're pow powering the weight up. You're using a kettlebell, exactly the same applies. Palm facing away. You roll it round your wrist. If you go slow, oh, that happens, okay? You're much more working for your shoulders. It's a full body workout. You're snatching, that's why it's called a snatch. You're snatching the weight up. I'm finishing position, palm facing you, okay? Down, I roll it round, I roll it round. I roll it back, okay? <sighs> Again, you want to go at the same speed as me, okay? If you're going slower, then you're going too slow in this one, okay? You're going too slow. And then we're going for calf raises. So with your um, dumbbells holding either side or with your kettlebell, we're just coming up onto our toes and back down. Lift and down. So we're getting nice sculpting through those calf muscles, okay? Are you ready? Kettlebell or weight, exactly the same applies. Make sure your back is nice and straight. It's a full body workout. Exhale at the top of the range. Ready? Let's go. One, switch. Two, same speed as me. Three, four. Keep the arm close to you, five. Keep it close, six. Not out to the side or you'll wrench through your shoulder. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, 20, dumbbells or kettlebell, okay, coming up, narrow stance, lifting up, pause it at the top and down, one, two, try and pause it at the top, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, you can have the weight down if you want to, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, right up into your tiptoes, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, I went too quick then, 19, 20, back into your snatches, try and go at the same speed as me, do not take your arm out to the side, okay, it needs to stay close or you'll wrench that shoulder out, okay, ready? Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, come on, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, hopefully you went the same speed as me. Now if you want to get the um, calf muscles to be um, harder, you need, you need to feel it more. Take one weight, like this, okay, one foot over, and lift you've got a wall for balance. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it, ten, other side. Or if you're going for both, carry on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really important to do calf, calf um, work in the soleus and the gastrocnemius muscles through that could make up the calf muscle. Um, really good for strengthening through those ankles. Really good for getting nice and deeper in the squat. Stronger through the calves. And I've always said, you can't build flexibility without strength. You can't build strength without flexibility. So it will help. Okay, ready? Back to your snatches. Power, come on. If you haven't kept up with me, make it this time. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, keep that back straight when you go down to get the weight. Keep that back straight. A few more. Nineteen, one more each side. Woo! I'm doing double calves this time. Ready? Pause at the top. One. Pause at the top. Two. Pause at the top. Three. Pause at the top. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, your next circuit. We're going for side leans. Weight or kettlebell in one side. Other hand up to your shoulder. We're reaching down. Now, when you reach down, I want you to make sure that you're not coming forward. Okay, you want to stay straight down. Okay. We're going to go slow down, quick up, okay? Really working through those obliques, through the sides, a little bit through the back as well. Okay, that's your first exercise. Then the weight down is you do need weights for this one. We're coming into a nice low fly. So down to here, out, okay? Down, out. Really working through the trapezius and rhomboids. Um, right at the top of our back, okay? And a little bit through the back of our shoulders as well. So you want your chest to be low in that and back really nice and straight. If you're coming up too high, you're to here, you just work slightly differently. So your, your, your lats come into play and your chest comes into play as well as more through the shoulders. So we want to be nice and low, okay? Ready, side leans. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, other side. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, to your weights. Chest nice and low. Make sure your back is straight. I'm soft through my knees, okay? Soft through my knees. Chest is really nice and low, parallel to the ground. Ready? Let's go. One. And I'm like pushing my chest in, down a little bit as I lift. Three. Squeezing my shoulder blades together. Imagine you're trying to pinch your shoulder blades. Four. Five, slight soft elbow, six, seven, squeeze those shoulder blades, squeeze, eight, come get your chest down low, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo. Back to your side leans. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hopefully through the course of this week, I've been giving you an idea of what weight you want to lift. But please, don't just... You know, put your ego to one side. Um, 
which is why you don't see. I, don't, I lose my ego when it comes to weights. <laughs> if I have to lose 0.5 kilogram weights for some exercises, so be it. I'd much rather do that and keep really good form. <sighs> if you can't do an exercise with perfect form, with a weight, without a weight, then never add a weight. <sighs> Until you get there, obviously. <laughs> Um, and you can, you can build amazing strength and definition through body weight alone, okay? Even, even in this exercise, you can. Majority of, I've got quite nice definition in my arms, it's built from very, very light weights, if most of all body weight. So you can still build a nice physique without it. So don't lose the ego. Um, and don't just think you're going to get more gains from going heavier, because you won't. Drop your chest. One, squeeze your back. Two, squeeze. Three, squeeze. Four, squeeze. Five, squeeze. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, started feeling that one. <laughs> and in the top of my hamstrings, because we're in that bent over deadlift position, you're feeling it in your hamstrings as well. Ready? Last round. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Drop that chest nice and low. Slight soft elbow. Ready? Let's go. One, two. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Three. Squeeze. Four. Squeeze. Five. Squeeze. Six. Squeeze. Seven. Squeeze. Eight. Squeeze, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo! Okay, my bench is going to come into play now or chair. You can do this on the floor though, I will give you an option. Right, we're going for a chest press and an overhead, okay? So, bra strap on, okay? So I'm going to lift up to here and I'm going to go for a chest press, okay? So hips up nice and high, don't have your feet up too far. So we're really working through the back here from um, holding this position and we're going to come for a chest press. Then I want you to go overhead with a bent arm 
okay the reason why being on here is you can get a really good range over okay so we're working predominantly through the chest a little bit through the lats through the back okay now if you're using a chair and it's got a back okay you're gonna have to move it around okay so have your chair so that you can be to this position in a press then you need to move your chair around so that the back so you're do you know what I mean the backs there so you can go overhead got it <laughs> okay so I will pause between okay we're going for 15 reps of each of these so grab your weight hips up nice and high get those hips up okay if you're doing this on the ground sorry exactly the same principle applies come up into a glute bridge okay so back on the ground up into a glute bridge give me a chest press okay then you can go overhead okay you'll have to go for a straight arm overhead if we go for a straight arm overhead you slightly work because when you're going for a straight arm okay straight arm you won't be able to get that range back but that's fine because we're just working the chest slightly differently. You're working lower, much lower part of your chest. Okay, if your arms are bent and you're getting a much bigger range, you're working more of the mid and upper chest. Okay, so if you are doing this on the ground, straight arms. Okay, ready? Hips up. Squeeze those glutes. Not like this. Squeeze. Ready? Let's go. Press. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, I'm going to come down, you might need to move your chair around if you're using a chair, not a bench, by the way, benches are really good if you do want to invest in a bench, um, this one, Amazon, I think it was 30 quid, I think, I'll try and find the link, um, and it folds down as well, so it's quite handy, right, but usually I use a chair because most people don't have a bench, so. Right, ready? Everyone in position, got their chair. Ready, lift up. Bent arm, nice and low. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, some of you might be feeling it in your neck, which is fine. You might probably will do. We're going one-sided this time. So I was feeling it a little bit in my neck. Um, that's fine. It's just where it's... needs a little bit of strengthening. Whew. Right. The next round, we're going unilaterally. One. So I've given you a chance to move your chair back around. So hips up. Support your head. Okay. We're coming down, one-sided. Support your head, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, other side, let's go, 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Move your chair around. One armed. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, or oh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, or oh, fill that all the way down your lats as well as through your chest. Ready? This last round, we're going to squeeze our glutes really hard. So as you come down, I want you to give a little thrust. Okay? Ready? So hips down slightly this time. If you're in a bridge on the floor, just pulse it up. Ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Other side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Move your chair around. I know it's fiddly when you're using a chair. Right, we're not going to go for the full range this time. We're going to go straight arm locked out, okay? Straight arm locked out. Ready? All the way overhead. Oh, and back. Two. Three. Straight arm. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Other side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14. Feel your triceps and everywhere coming into play on that straight arm one. Or come up. I'm just going to move my chair out, out the way. I can't believe, where does the time go in this workout? Where does it go? It's crazy. We've got one more circuit to get through. Kettlebell or your weights. We're going for windmills and rotations, okay? So we're really working through our sides again for the windmills. So what we want to do is left foot pointing forward, okay? Right foot pointing out. What we're going to do is we're going to have the weight up to here, okay? And this hand's going to come down to the ground. Okay, so I'll show you from the side. Down, okay? So imagine I'm in a corridor, um, either side, okay? So you're not too far forward, okay? You want to look up at the kettlebell all the time, or the weight, whatever you're using, okay? So I'm coming down, I'm running my hand down my leg and back up. Now, flexibility wise, you may need to bend this knee, okay, to here. You may only get to here, that's fine, okay? But you want to think about pushing, my weight is in my left hand, pushing my left hip out to the corner of the room. So you're pushing it back and out, okay? And coming up. Looking up at the kettlebell. Now, I really suggest you do this without a weight and then see if you can add a weight. Okay, um, exactly the same principle applies. We're holding the weight up. We're going to go for 10 reps each side. Okay, ready? So, weight's in my left. I'm coming down. Bend this knee and don't come down all the way if you don't need to. Never take your eye off the kettlebell. Ready? Push that hip back. One. Push that hip back. Two. Three. Four. Look how close my arm is to my ear. When I come up, it comes up close. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that gets those love handles. <laughs> really gets there. <sighs> Ready? Let's go. One. Elbow stays close. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you only need a light weight for this next one. We're going for little rotations. So I'm gonna go for my four kilo kettlebell or just hold your dumbbell. Okay, we're coming down into a squat position and you're just taking the weight over one side and the other, okay? So in this position, straight arms, I'm just rotating, so I'm not, I'm not swinging, okay? Nice controlled, okay, just moving from the waist. Hips don't move. One. Soft through those legs. Two. Really feel this working through your core. Four. Oh. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, I know it's tough. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh. oh, that gets your back, that gets so in your core, gets through your bleaks. Amazing exercise, that one. And the control required as well. Okay, it will get easier with your flexibility as it improves. Ready? Let's go for our windmills. Down. 
stay close. One, two, push that hip away. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, even without a weight, this, this one is hard, okay? With no weight at all, just that movement. Okay, ready? Chest nice and low. Let's go. Try not to move those hips. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Eight, nine, ten. Oh, one more round. Ready? Let's go. Sorry if you can hear that noise. It's a bin man. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. No idea what's happened to the music. Just decided to stop. Let's go. One, keep that elbow close. Arm close even. Two, always looking up at the kettlebell. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Ready? Chest nice and low. <sighs> One, nice and control. Keep those arms straight. Two, oh, three, <sighs> four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Oh, take your arms overhead, reach over to the side. That was tough on the obliques and the abs on that last one. Um, but also working through the back. A little bit of all round today. Um, focused muscle groups though. Oh, and reach down for the floor. Literally five minutes until Pilates. Um, so make sure you have a really good stretch out. Um, and hope you enjoyed that session. Um, please do try and join me for the Q&A session because I'm going to answer lots of questions and things that have perhaps come up this week that I want to talk to you about. Um, that's one o'clock, so if you um, can't make it, then please catch up. And I'll see you in five minutes for Pilates. I overrun. I'm going to have to make these sessions now, I think. 